Hello my friends, welcome. My name is Belisa and I'm honored that you are here with me today. This quick intro will give you some information so you know what to expect. These classes are recordings from a live class that I offer every week from my home in North Carolina. I call these classes Yoga for a Cause, Beautiful Togetherness. These classes are donation-based, where 100% of the proceeds go to an organization that is changing people's lives. Breathe. If you're pregnant, congratulations. This is a very special time. Take good care of your body, talk to your doctor and midwife, and make sure to get some good resources about the natal yoga and what poses that are very safe during pregnancy. I would also like to introduce you to our yoga enhancers for class. So this is what you're gonna be using today. A ball, and if you don't have a seven or nine inch bar ball, you can always use two bath towels or a yoga blanket wrapped together with a headband to hold it tight. A yoga block or stack of books. A yoga strap. You can also use a rope belt. Weights. Always a great enhancer, but always optional. And the most important thing is your attitude and how you carry yourself throughout class. Be kind to yourself, stop when you have to take breaks, have water. So please listen to your heart, follow your breath, and make sure that you're practicing for a self-care place. Now that you know a little bit about the class and you have all your enhancers, I'll meet you on your mat. Have a great practice. Find a comfortable seating position. You can be with your soles of your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Or you can just cross your legs. You can also prop behind you with a pillow or something. You can have your back against the wall. I just want you to be able to feel comfortable for the next few minutes as we weave in the theme for class today. You can choose to close your eyes or keep a soft gaze by looking down in front of you a few feet or maybe a one meter in front of you. And as this first minutes, just start tuning in with your breath. And start actually using your mindfulness to change the way you are breathing right now. If you're familiar with Ujjayi breath, we will be using Ujjayi breath throughout practice. And if you're not familiar, try to squeeze the back of your throat like you're fogging a mirror, like that, making an audible sound. Our class today, our theme is loving kindness for all. Look at other beings with the eyes of compassion. This is a quote from the Lotus Sutra. The eyes of compassion are also the eyes of understanding. Compassion is the sweet water that springs forth from the source of understanding. To practice looking deeply is the basic medicine for anger and hatred. Mindfulness makes life real, deep, and worth living. He help us be in the here and now where true life can be encountered. He help us get in touch with refreshing and healing elements within and around us. 
By practicing mindfulness, we plant and water the seeds of joy, peace, and understanding in us. The seeds that have the power to modify and transform the pain and afflictions in us. These afflictions and pain can be transformed just because of the presence of the positive seeds that we plant and water in our daily life by the practice of mindful living. If you just take these next couple of breaths, to sharpening your internal gaze and using the breath as an anchor to embrace the present moment. Just shedding out any judgments, any expectations that you have from this class, from yourself, from today, from your practice. And just allowing the mind to go back to its original state, a quiet state, a present state. You can flow your eyes open. If you like to use the playlist that I share in the chat, you can push play. If you're ready to push play, just keep listening from where you are. Take your right leg out to the side and your left leg in. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, keep reaching from the side of your body so you can create space. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reach over your ear. Inhale, spreading your chest bones away from your rib cage and your rib cage away from the pelvis. Exhale, melt the shoulders away from ears and use the bottom arm to roll your chest open towards the sky. Neck soft. You can close your eyes if that feels nurturing to you and if that helps you go inside. Because at this moment, nothing that is outside matters. It's not how you look, but we're really trying to find how you feel within and keep building upon that bridge that your breath allows you to happen, to be mindful and present. One more breath here. Find a little bit more space to your rib cage. Big side. Your top arm, inhale, reach to the side of your hip. And then switch sides. Take the left leg out, now again. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Reach away from the hip, crease with the thigh. Your arm can go on your shin, your thigh, or the floor. It's just going to depend on your flexibility today. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Make a big rainbow, creating space from under the armpit, ribs, all the way to the right hip. Exhale, roll your chest open towards the sky. You can even use your bottom arm to help you. Go back to your breath. Inhale. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, ease any worries, any judgments, any doubts away from your energetic body. Using each breath as just a cleansing tool to dissipate anything that's not serving you right now. 
One more deep inhale here. Open your mouth, big sigh. <sighs> Soft through your neck. And your inhale, top arm reaches up and pulls your torso up to center. You can take your both legs in front of you. Keep either the block or the roll-up blanket or roll-up two pals together, whatever you have nearby you. As you lay down, take your knees into your chest. Maybe sway side to side. Deep inhale, shoulders up towards your ears. Spread your toes. Exhale, shoulders down away from your ears. Tailbone down towards the mat. Release your right leg down. Hug the left knee in. And then bring the left leg up as you just, you can grab the back side of your calf or your thigh or your foot. Just make sure that you're not grabbing behind the knee. And gently pull your leg down towards your chin. You can even tuck the chin to your chest, look to your pubic bone and curl yourself up. Right leg is active. Spread through the right toes. One more breath here. Find your edge and your exhale. Inhale, release your torso down. Bend the left to knee. Bring the right leg in. And then switch sides. Take the left leg out. Left leg is active. Exhale to pull the right knee in and down towards your right shoulder. Make that delicious stretch for your right hip. And we inhale, right leg up. Exhale, grab whatever you can grab. Thigh, calf, foot. And then draw your chin towards your chest. Stay active through your both feet. And release. Soles of your feet down. Either have your block with you or that roll up towel and bring it on your pubic bone. Bring both legs up towards the sky. If your hamstrings are tight, you can bend the knees. If you are in a self-care mode, if you recently had a, have a, had a baby, soles of your feet can be down. And recently have a baby could be 20 years ago. That still counts. Clasp your hands behind you, your head, with all the fingers together. Cradle your head and move your elbows up towards the sky. Inhale, bring your head and shoulders up. Hold your breath. Squeeze the block between your thighs. Squeeze your blanket. Exhale, lift your tailbone up off the floor. Pubic bone towards navel. Exhale, bring your right elbow towards your left knee. Squeeze the down. Hold your belly down. Inhale, back to center. Keep your shoulders off the floor if you can. Hold your breath. Squeeze. As you exhale, curl pubic bone up towards your navel. Bring your left elbow, right knee. Notice your right shoulder. Right shoulder blade stays off the floor. You're not pressing it down. Hold low belly down. Inhale, back to center. Now I'm going to go straight up. Hold your breath. Squeeze the pal. Exhale, curl pubic bone up. Lift your shoulders, chest, elbows up towards the sky. So you're not rolling in towards your belly, you're lifting up towards the toes. Pull low belly down. Let's do one more round like this. Inhale, come down just a tad. Keep shoulders off the floor. Hold your breath, squeeze. Exhale, curl your big bone up. Right elbow left to knee. Squeeze a second time. Pull low belly down. Inhale, back to center, leg to the low back. Deep Ujjayi, hold the breath, squeeze the inner legs. Exhale, curl your big bone up, left elbow, right knee. Squeeze a little tighter, hold your belly down. Last one, inhale, back to center, shoulders off the floor. 
Shoulder blades off the floor if you can. Reach to the thighs. Hold the breath. Squeeze. Exhale. Press the balls of your feet up. And lift the chest, the heart. Lift the elbows. Pull your belly down. Release your head. Reach up towards the sky with your fingers. Eight times. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now the toes. Eight, seven. So it's just a little movement. Physically, you're not going to see very much, but you can really feel it energetically. Now hands and toes. Reach the toes and the fingers. Four, three, two. Hold it up high, press your low back down, lift the chest, lift the legs. Exhale to release, bring the soles of your feet down. Take the towel or the blanket and push to the side, you're not going to need it anymore. Roll to your belly, find your sphinx. So you're going to come down so your belly's down, elbows below your shoulders, shoulders away from your ears. Shoulders down your back, slide them down. Your legs here are soft. Traction your elbows down towards your ribs as you pull gently your chest through your arms. Find a stretch for the front part of your abs. One more breath here. On your exhale, you're going to pull your belly in, press the top of the feet down, and push up into a forearm plank. This is not an easy one, guys. Modify as you need to. The top of your feet are actually pushing down towards the earth. If that's too much, you can have your knees down. You can have the curled back toes into your plank. So whatever it is that you can... Just be here for three more breaths. Keep pulling your belly in. Turn on your chest muscles. By pressing your elbows down. Press your feet down. Glutes tight. Four, three, two, one. Lower the knees. Push your hips back. Get your block. I don't know why my block so far away from me right now. Okay, so. Once you have your block, bring the block into a high position, just like this. And we're going to do a modified child's pose. So take your arms, your forearms, on the top of your block, and then reach your hips back. You can walk your knees back if you need to, giving yourself more space for your torso. Maybe your head just slides through your arms. Maybe your forehead touches the floor. That's just going to depend on your anatomy or flexibility today. is not required. Instead of sagging your ribcage down, feel four. Hug the ribcage in and let your tailbone down away from your low back and towards your heels. See if you can just create a little bit more space. If you don't have a block, you can just do a regular child's pose. This is just gives you a, gives you a little more chance to open through the shoulders. One more breath here. On your exhale, then come out of that block. Bring it to the side. We're going to use it a few more times, so keep it close. Wrist on the shoulders. Knees under hips, all fours, just a few circles here for your wrists. One direction and then the other direction. We're going to play in our hands today. So it's just a lovely way to warm them up before we ask them to do a lot of that work. You can also have your fingers pointing towards your knees. And then go back and forth very gently. Try to keep the heels of your hands on the mat. Don't stretch too deeply. Just be kind to your wrists. And then turn your fingers towards the top of your mat. Just going to prepare for a first down facing dog. Soften through your elbows. Elbows towards your ribs, not towards the sides. 
curl your back toes under, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, look down to your belly button, lift your tailbone away from your heels as you start lifting your hips towards the sky. This first one, you can have your knees bent as much as you need to. Again, soften through your elbows. Then you start reaching one heel at a time down towards the mat. It's not required that you just touch the mat. It's just going to depend on your body, how you feel today. Always just reminding ourselves to be very gentle with our body, present, so we can continue continuously cultivate the, the seeds of love and kindness within us. We can honestly love the world, love the people in the world, the animals, if we cannot find love within us first. And one way to show how we love ourselves is taking good care of ourselves, listening to our body, noticing when our body is asking us something and be able to honor that. Gently walk your feet towards your hands. Find the first forward fold. Maybe you've done a few already. Maybe you've taken like five classes today. So this might feel kind of nice, but if this is your first class, then just Slowly welcome your body into this deep fold. Maybe you want to bend your knees a lot. Rip cage on the thighs. Let your head go. Deep breath in. Big sigh. <sighs> Pull your belly in. Exhale. Inhale slowly. Stack hips over knees, shoulders over hips. Head comes last. Inhale, bring your arms up, glue the palms, just cross your thumbs, reach your fingers up towards the sky, and reach your fingers towards your left as you bump your hips to the right. Press the right heel down. Inhale, back to center, cross the other thumb on top, reach your fingers up. Exhale, reach your fingers to the right, bump your hips to your left. Inhale, back to center. On your exhale, cactus arms. Keep your tailbone pushing down as you squeeze your elbows behind your back and lift your chest bones up towards the sky. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, belly in. Inhale, find length. Your hands can go on shins or toes or floor or blocks. Exhale, fold. You can always bend knees here. Inhale, plant your hands. Step back into your plank. Shoulders over wrists. Lower to exhale. Exhale to lower. I mean, knees down first. Bend your elbows close to your ribcage. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, away from the floor. Come down to your belly. Reach your toes back, press your thighs and your pubic bone down, hands in front of shoulders a few inches. Inhale, hold the chest through. Low cobra, elbows are hovering off the floor, glutes tight, reach the toes back. Exhale, lower down, hands on the shoulders. You can always push back to your knees first, curl back toes under, and then find a downward facing dog. We're going to go into a warm-up flow. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Press through your fingers. Inhale, left leg up and back. On your exhale, you're going to shift your shoulders over your wrist like you're going to a plank and touch the left knee to the left triceps. Then push your left leg back, one leg plank. Option to do a push-up. Lower the chest halfway, push-up. Left knee towards the right tricep. One leg down and up. Reach the left leg back. Inhale. Exhale. Step through. Crescent lunge. Left foot in front. Left knee steps over left ankle. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Release your shoulders down. 
Press your left foot down, left heel down. So turn on your left glute. Keep it nice and turned on. And the back heel, push forward. Right hip forward, square your pelvis. Pull belly in, hug the low ribs in towards your knee back. We're gonna move into a flow and we're gonna do a four count first. Lift the knee, four, three, two, one. Figure four, three, two, one. Lift the knee, three, two, one. Back to crescent, three, two, one. Let's move. Knee up, figure four. Pull the knee. Step back. Two more like this. Lift for three, two, one. Figure four. Three, two, one. Pull the knee. Three, two, one. Push it back. Three, two, one. Last one like this. Sink back. If balance is not even strong today, you can always do a kickstand and I'll show you how that looks in a second. Okay, option here. Pull the knee and just do a kickstand and then sit in that kickstand and then push back again. But this time, option two, do a warrior three. Pull the knee. Three, four, sit back. Three, two, one. Pull the knee. Three, two, one. Warrior three. Arms can go in any position that suits you. Last one. This is warming up to the left glute. Getting your body ready, warming up to the core and the glutes in the beginning of the class. Get your body ready for action. <laughs> and it's okay if you fall out. I fall out all the time. Last one, we're gonna all meet in crescent lunge. And when you find a crescent lunge, you're gonna let your right hand inside the left foot, left arm opens up for a twisting lunge. Let your back be soft, shoulders away from your ears. One more inhale. Exhale, left hand on the outside of the left foot. Bring the right knee on the outside of the left foot as well. And find a seated twist right on around the left thigh. Left hand behind you. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, look over your shoulder. One more breath here. On your exhale, release the twist. Bring the right leg in front of you. Bring the left foot on the inside of your right leg. Plant your right hand down next to your right hip. Flow your left arm out, out of the shoulder. Press the left foot to lift your right leg off the floor. Curl the right foot in and back. So you're back into your runner's lunge. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, lower. Other side. Inhale, right leg up. On your exhale, shift forward, right knee, right tricep. Then one leg plank, option to do a push up, lower halfway, press yourself up, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, one leg down, facing dog, right leg up. Exhale, step between your hands. Find a crescent line in the side. Inhale to rise. Exhale, shoulders melt away from ears. Pull your ribs in. Lift for your heart as you lay your tailbone down away from the low back and push the right foot down. Turn on your right glute. Moving that foot down. 
Pull the knee. Three, two, one. Figure four. Three, two, one. Pull the knee. Three, two, one. Press and lunge. Three, two, one. Four more like this. How's your breath? How are your eyes? Your gaze, just your gaze are just going nuts right now. Going all direction. We're going to keep a steady gaze. Steady mind. It's not so much what you look right now if you're falling out of the pose. But it's what is rising when those scenes are happening that you have no control of. And your awareness on those feelings, emotions, attitude, doubts. So becoming aware is the practice of yoga. This time you can add your warrior three as an option. These are just layers, you can take it or leave it. Keeping your hips square down towards the floor. Square towards the front of the mat. Using your belly to stabilize through each motion. One breath cycle for movement. Last two here. You're going to do one all the way through. And the next time that you go to warrior three, we will meet in crescent lunge. Take your time to get there. We will all meet there together. On your exhale, twisting lunge, left hand on the side of your right foot, right arm swips and open. You can relax your neck here. Make sure you're not pressing to the joint of your left elbow. Keep a slight bend there. Press the right heel down. Keep the right glute working. On the next exhale, right hand on the outside of your right foot. Left knee creeps out of the right ankle. Wiggle your buttocks down for the twist. Left arm wraps around the right thigh. Right hand can go behind your back. If you have any neck sensibility, don't worry about looking back. You can keep your chin with your chest, but use your spine to roll. The rest of your spine, I should say. And just keep the neck straight and in alignment with your upper back. Then ease your way forward. Left leg in front of you, right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Left hand outside of your hip, right arm out to the side, push up so your left leg floats. Step back. Frame your right foot, inhale, well leg up, one leg down, facing up. Exhale, Lord. Inhale, shift forward to your plank. Exhale to lower, you can lower and chatter down, but keeping your elbows squeezing towards your ribs. Come down halfway only and go into upper dog, top of your feet on the floor. Press your hands down. Press your feet down. Pull the chest through, keep your neck neuter. You can always go back to low cobra. On your exhale, pull from the belly, keep pulling the belly up and back. On Korea toes, front and down, facing up. Inhale, bend your knees. Either jump or step forward. Forward, forward. Inhale, find a squat so your feet 
Widen the hips, go sliding out. Shift your butt back, hands forward, belly in. One more inhale, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, crow. If you don't like crow, if you don't want to go on your arms, you can find malasana, deep squat. Otherwise, hands in front of you. If your wrists are a little bit, you need a little more love for your wrists, you can turn your fingers slightly out to take some of that pressure. Shift your way forward. Bend the knee a lot so the knee joint is flat. That way it fits a much more comfortably behind your arms. Hug the heels in. As, as you're ready, push back into plank. Lower down, chatter down. The shoulders away from the floor, away from the ears. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, push back. Down facing up. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot outside of the left hand for lizard. Let your hips come down and forward. And just rock yourself back and forth here. Notice your mind. Notice your breath. One more inhale, chest forward. Exhale, drop the right knee down. Left arm makes a big rainbow. Catch the back foot from the inside. On the, on the foot, but from the inside if you can, so you can open through the shoulder. If you have any pain on your back knee, you can fold the side of the mat, put under the knee, or get a blanket. Relax your neck. One more breath here. On your exhale, release the back foot. Bring the left hand on the inside of the left foot. Right foot, come up on the right foot and open out to the side. You're going to a warrior two, but you're going to extend the warrior. So your right arm is going to rise up. Shoulders away from the ears. Left hand can be on the block. Your left arm can be on top of your thigh. Your top arm can be behind you and I have mine if that's more comfortable for your shoulder. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can take your peace sign fingers, index and your finger, and reach in front of your second toe on the floor, but without putting pressure on the fingers. Then both palms up. Inhale, find a warrior two, palms up. Exhale, sink into the left foot, the left knee, so you get a good opening for your hips. Inhale, reach back into reverse warrior. Exhale, then find your side plank. Right hand on the inside of your left foot. Your left leg is going to go up in any variation. I like the tree pose variation. You can have your both feet down. You can have one foot behind. So your pelvis is still up towards the sky, getting a nice open for your hips. And on your next exhale, you're going to find one leg down facing up. Left leg up and back. Exhale to lower. As so you're all on the right side, inhale, rally up. Exhale, step on the outside of your right hand. Find your lizard. Chest forward, chin forward. Maybe rock back and forth a couple of times. Inhale, lengthen through the front body. On your exhale, lower the back knee. Right arm makes a big rainbow. Catch the back foot from the inside. You're not kicking the arm back. You're just allowing the hips to sink down first and then maybe actually bring the heel a little bit closer towards your glutes to get more 
into the left hip flexor. Exhale, release that foot. Press, curl the back toes on, press the back knee up, right arm makes a big rainbow. Pivot on the back toes out to the left side of your mat, right hand on the inside of the right foot, find your extended warrior, left hand sweeps up. Options to have your right hand on the block, right elbow on the right thigh. Or for a little bit more, peace sign fingers in front of the big and second toe. Without any weight there, press the right hand down. One more breath here. Keep your neck soft. Exhale, palms up. Inhale, sweep the right hand up. Find your warrior two palms up to unwind the shoulders. Keep your chin in line with your chest. I'm not going to ask you to look to your right hand. I would like for you to get square. Your head, your shoulders, your hips, everything square towards the left side of your mat. Let's reverse. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, side plank. Sweep your arms. Your right arm goes back. Left hand lands in the inside of the right foot. And then you can explore, trying to get the right leg up, avoid the knee joint. Press the sole of the left foot down, the big toe down, as you lift your hips up. Maybe you want to put your right foot behind you for more balance support. And your right arm can extend forward. And then close to your hips. Left toes pointing towards the front of the mat. Inhale, right leg up and right down and down. Exhale, lower. One more inhale. Press your hands down, laying through the back side of your body. On your exhale, lower the knees, find your child's pose. You can open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your hips down. You can use the block again. This time, instead of the block being up high, you can just have it more flat with your arms on top. Find a length through your spine, through the size of your ribs. One more deep inhale. On your exhale, you're going to just scoop yourself forward like you're coming forward towards your mat. So your belly's down. And you can just roll yourself into your back. left leg on top of your right thigh. You can simply stay right here, flex your left foot, gently press the knee away from the left hip. You can also grab the back of the right thigh. Excuse me, my dog is barking outside. Or you can grab your right shin and draw your right knee down towards your right shoulder and your chest. One more deep breath. Notice your, the quality of your mind right now. After you moved your body, after being aware of the dance of your breath and movement. And then release that foot. Sweet sides of the sole of the left foot can be down, flex the right ankle. Maybe just right here, pressing the right knee away from the right hip, or you can pick up your left leg, grab the back of your thigh, or grab your shin below your left knee, just don't do anything on the knee joint. On your exhale, gently bring that knee, the thigh, the right shin towards your chest. Keep your feet active. Shoulders away from ears. Notice if you're starting to get pants over there. Just releasing of that stuff. And release the legs down. Last one, you can either hug your knees, give yourself a big hug, or take a happy baby just to realign for the spine and the hips, resetting everything. If you're grabbing 
Have your baby grabbing the outer ends of your feet. You might want to get into your hamstrings by getting your legs straight, but you can keep your knees bent. You can sway side to side. And then find your Shavasana, whatever Shavasana is suiting for you. Some people like to do seating meditation better than lying down. Some people like to be in Bhattakonasana. You can put, turn off your lights, put a blanket under your head. I'm not going to tell you how it's, you should be honoring your body right now. I would like for you to ask yourself what's the best way for you to just be in a comfortable sitting or lying down position. So you can receive the words that I'm about to recite for you. If you had your music going, it's time to turn it off and I will do the same here. We're just going to begin settling in, which whatever form you are taking right now with your body. Just allow your ujjayi breath to go away so you can go back to normal breathing. And choose if you like to keep your eyes open or closed, maybe a soft gaze. Today we are practicing loving kindness. In this practice, we generate a wish of well being for ourselves and for others. Take a full breath into your lungs and a slow breath out. Feel yourself supported by the earth and present in this moment. Let's begin by offering wishes of well-being to ourselves. May I be well. May I be safe and free from suffering. May I be happy. Take a deep breath. And invite your heart to open and accept these words. May I be well. May I be safe and free from suffering. May I be happy. Now bring to mind someone close to you that you care about deeply. Maybe a friend or family member, maybe a teacher, someone has helped you. Imagine that person sitting in front of you right now. May you be well. May you be safe and free from suffering. May you be happy. Now bring to mind someone who is having a difficult time. Maybe someone that has experienced loss recently or struggling with wellness. May you be well. May you be safe and free from suffering. May you be happy.
Now bring someone to your mind within that maybe you had some difficulty in the past. May you be well. May you be safe and free from suffering. May you be happy. Now let's extend your wishes to everyone near you. May they be well. May they be safe and free from suffering. May they be happy. Extend your wishes beyond the place where you are, beyond the people you know to extend over the entire earth, all people, all animals, all life. May all beings be well. May they be safe and free from suffering. May they be happy. Feel the sense of well-wishing extending out from you in all directions. Notice how you feel in this moment, the sensations in your body and the quality of your mind. You can choose to bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly as you wish for yourself once again. May I be well, may I be safe and free from suffering, may I be happy. Please feel free to stay where you are if you need some more time for yourself or you can come to a comfortable sitting position. As we take just this last moment to honor our intent and our wishes for the whole world and ourselves. Palms touch, thumbs at heart center. May we be well. May we be free from suffering. May we be happy. Thank you so much, my friends, for being here. Namaste. I want to thank you again for practicing with me and for taking care of yourself. Please visit my website, yogawithbrisa.com or brisasilvestre.com so you can stay up to date with my offerings. I would love to see you in one of my in-person or live classes. Please consider donating to a cause that is dear to your heart. Hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.